Okay. Yeah, apparently there are leagues, as I was saying. It's uh, basically like League of Legends now. Um, fix this. Losing time. Okay. <sighs> Is it worth taking? It's not, right? Let's gonna do this. If he wants to take, it's fine. I'll just keep the center. Okay. Cool. So I want to defend this. The horse blocks my uh, queen. Yeah, let's do this for now. Ah, uh, but putting out the horse, then I can castle. I like the flexibility of castling. Uh, yeah, fuck it. No, because it doesn't defend it. What the fuck am I talking about? I have to do this horse anyway. Yeah. Should have seen that coming. It's fine. Is he... I'm perfectly fine with him trading here, because I can just take it with my horse and it frees me to castle. I can also move this one back, but I don't know why I would do that. Because he's going to take my pawn, I guess. Ah! No, because he's still defending here. I don't know why he did that. It, it, that, that just helps me. Why would he do that? I want to put my bishop up here, I suppose. His queen is... Uh, these horses locks. He might threaten me up here, but... I mean, if I just trade my bishop for his horse, it's... No, it's not good, because he just take it with the queen. Like, I'm, I'm just talking about fucking up his pawn structure. But no. Uh, so I guess I just castle them. Get these two together. Attack this file. Um, just trying to see things that are kind of... I guess moving this up and attacking this could be good. Like... What about, what about moving my bishop here? Because then I've got this attacking the square now as well. So like... Then if I if I take his horse with my bishop... He takes with the queen, then I get... Okay, now he, well, he definitely can't do that now. Um, what does this get him? I don't know what this gets him. I can move my horse over to here, but that puts my horse in the corner to attack his queen. Um, can move my bishop out. Then move the pawn forward to attack queen now, because then because then it's undefended on the square. I don't know what he's doing with this. He's attacking this pawn, but why? Oh, he's attacking this file, but why? It's still defended by the bishop. But if I move the maybe he hurt me because if I move the bishop out here now, then um, he can take that pawn for free. I might just move up the pawn. Attack his horse. Um, then he would just end up moving here. Because, I mean, either of those squares, after I move my horse, he, uh, I, I can kill. Yeah, I just move this up. This still defends this. And so does this. So you can't just take that. You can't take this either because of this. Um, I don't know what this really gets me. It, like, it attacks his horse. Can't move here because they're here. He's got these two squares. I mean, he can move back, but I mean, I guess he could move back here to then attack this pawn. I 
I mean, trading horses here is just good for me, right? Leaves these pawns all locked up, but then this whole file is... This whole area is kind of weak. And then I can move my pawn up here, which gives me access to this area with my queen. Yeah. Like, I should be going to this file here. Somehow. Because this is weak. It's nothing defended. Um... Which I can more easily do when I move my... Um, my horse here, but then this pawn isn't defended except by the queen. Oh yeah, I guess, I mean, the queen is sufficient defense, I suppose. But eventually I'll move the queen out. I mean, uh, when I move the queen out here, but I suppose, like, if he's dumb enough to take this pawn and allow me to put my queen down here, There's no way he'd be dumb enough to do that. Um, yeah, fuck it. No. Nah. No, nah, I'm going to do it this way. So, putting my queen out here cause the discover check with the horse, meaning you can't move the horse. That's not that great. Yeah, I regret my decisions. Um, I can't move the bishop or I can take this pawn. Might be just going to march up my horse somehow over here. And uh, so... How do I even get it there? Can I even get it there? Maybe I just want to move up this pawn. That's my bishop. I mean, this this bishop. It's, this bishop is totally fucked as long as I keep my pawns like that. What can I do with my bishop, though? I need this horse gone. But it does defend this square. I may, I know, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this two moves. I mean, what is he doing with this horse, though? Like, what? Oh, is he attacking here? I should have seen that like eight years ago. That's terrible, I didn't see that. So this pawn and this pawn are both under threat. <sighs> um, no, it's not, because this is this pawn defends this. What the fuck am I smoking? I'm overthinking this. So just do this in two moves. So he's because he can't move down here either. What is what did he move this this horse for? Oh, just to move out the castle? You may okay. Like when I can't think of a justification for why a move was made, I get flustered. If, if moving out the castle, that makes sense. Just developing it now at Long Castle. It does not stop what I wanted to achieve. Um, so again, that's still defended. This still defended. Um, do I want to take this square or this square? I guess this square because I can get them both. I 
Did he move it because he wants the long castle? Yeah, okay, I made a mistake. That's my bad. Um, but I couldn't have attacked there anyway. So all I really did was just force him to castle. Um, force. So what's the weak pawn? I need, I need, they're all defended now. Uh, moving this up so I can actually get my rook into the, uh, the um, uh, rook and uh, bishop into the game. I want to move blocks this file. So, uh, I can just hit there, and if he takes, then I check. It doesn't get me anything because he just moves there. And from here, no. Oh, he has a discover check. Right. So I can't take this. That's a brilliant move. True. True. He's because he's threatening this. Um. And I can't take because uh, this checks. Um. So I have to move my queen. Well, basically, I mean, I'm running out of time. I can't threaten this queen. Should be fine. He can check checks me, but I take. I can still take, so he has to move his uh, horse maybe down to here to attack this. Um, he can go over there to attack my queen. I mean, it's mate and three there, 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 but it's not going to happen. Um, I mean, getting having this square is nice to a degree. Um, maybe here would have been better because then I could take with the pawn. I mean, because he could, like, his pawn isn't he isn't safe. But I mean, if I had I been here, no, because I couldn't have. I would have had to move back here. Then I could have moved the pawn and threatened the queen, but it's defended, so it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, so he moved back to attack my queen. Um, it sucks because moving over here doesn't help me. Um, So 
So I guess here is okay. I should be trying to think what he's trying to do, because he, he can still hit this, but this still defends this. And this defended from there as well. Um, he, he can't move the horse now, because the horse being that defends this pawn, just by its mere presence. I've got this castle that's just doing fucking nothing. Um... I can't dislodge the horse. I don't have my white bishop anymore. Uh, this to here, hitting this, that's not defended. I mean, you'd probably just end up trading. And then knocking me off with pawns. I mean, even now he can knock me off with pawns. But not really, because I can just take that, can't I? But that one, I mean. Oh. Yeah, see, because I the same problem happening because I still can't um take. But this is just the same dance we did before. Has he changed his mind as to move he wants to do or? <laughs> We're right back where we started. The only difference now is I can hypothetically go back down there. Yes, yeah, so now he's attacking the bishop like I... Oh! So I've got a bit of a headache, chat. Why am I doing this? I mean, watching Gotham chess and pin. A lot of people are doing that opening now. Like, why didn't I do this with this one first? Because I have the queen protecting it. Uh, I guess I'll just do a standard opening thing. It's just going to put a pawn there or something, or. Pawn the air yeah, horse there, yeah. Um. Because Gotham Chess just released a video where he's talking about a new opening where you put this pawn here, giving it up so you have this file. But I think it's done with white on this side, actually, not black. So maybe I won't do that. Um, a useless move. I need to not let my time run down. What? What? Yeah, that I don't understand. Uh, free my bishop then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, then now I'll do it on this side so I can move this up, hit his horse. If he takes it, I can free be free here. Oh, he didn't take it. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm confused. So, um, if I move my horse and take this pawn, uh, and he takes, I get his horse over here and I'm up a pawn. Is that the best way to do that? Yeah, I guess. I guess.
I can... Uh, what, what, what is he doing? He's just gonna push me away with the pawn, right? Yeah, okay. Do I want to move up into here and trap myself in? Um, because I could go up here, in here. But then I'm like, stuck. Is that a problem if I go in here? Like... Otherwise he's gonna move his... Because now this is defended in two places. But also, like, if I'm... Oh, no, that's terrible. Fuck! No! I'm dumb. I lost. <laughs> it's like the one... I, I, I did not think about the possibility of a... What, what, isn't, what, I can't even what it's called. So I lose. I actually lose the game. Um, like he even, he gets that for free, so I just have to resign. That sucks. Oh, I get it, I get, I'm in a, I'm, it's put me back into a different league. No. Adam, I just haven't got around to it yet, man. So he doesn't like this. Okay, yeah, I thought about doing that bit. Yes, that was a great move. I thought it was. Continue. Okay, cool. Next. Yeah, see, I did the good thing. And he doesn't like that I went here. Yeah, just retreating would be better. Okay. A blunder. Yeah, I got forked. Ah, no. And yeah, there was a oh, god damn. And see, I, w I was in the lead. I knew I was in the lead. Ah. Uh, no. Most unfortunate. Dumb. I want to try doing this. It's dumb because you you meant to control the center better, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, dumb for me because I'm I'm new, you know, but. Whatever. So you can just take the pawn. Do it. Thank you. Okay. Um...
So now he has to keep his bishop there, and as he moves the pawn or all that jazz. Okay. Uh huh. Weird. Hmm. So if I trade, it doesn't screw up his pawn structure. Um, and he can do the long castle thing. Okay, so that defends this, attacks this, I can bring up my castle. Uh, but he's still, may I should just trade this. I guess I will end up trading this just so I can attack this. May I should just trade it in now. Oh, so he's given it to me. Is it worth taking though? I feel like it just doesn't get me anywhere though. Is he gonna move it back or you move the castle over then you could trade oh, he's gonna move that there, okay. Um That's a weird move. I I guess cause ah, uh, because I'm not defending it. Yeah, okay. Um because I can't go here because this attacks here. So I can move it all the way back, but that feels lame. I can trade this now, but for what purpose? Um... This is now not defended by anything except the queen. Moving all the way back to Seal so lame. Maybe I can just put it here? Is that... Is that trash? You just march up the pawn to... Would he do that though? I feel like this is dumb. He's not going to do anything weird. No, okay. Let's move this pawn up, but it's I need I need to get my bishop out. If I take, and then this is defended by nothing, because he, I don't know, he, he probably, he might just fuck his pawn structure. Rather than using the queen. Okay. Um, I should have just moved my castle over to attack here. This is still fine though, because I want to put, uh, if he moves over here, I put my queen here and I can hit his horse or I can hit his, um, I mean, it's, it was defended there now, but I mean the, the horse or um, the bishop. 
Sure, I could have done that before. Yeah, okay. There must be a reason why this is bad. Let's find out. Because I can even check and take if I really want to. Once the horse is gone, I can move my castle back up here. It does nothing to change. And this... I can check him. Is it, is it, does it make sense to check him to move him over one? Need I think I just take it. No, nah, maybe I should check him because uh, he would, he, no, because he would just move his queen there. It's just like a free move for him, right? It's his queen being there is worse for me, I think, because then I can't go back and get this pawn. I still can't bring my bishop out. Like, I'm ahead, except two of my pieces are doing nothing. Like, I'm ahead points wise, but he's not. But I, I can't use two of my pieces, so I, I may as well be down. And, like, my horse is just entirely locked. Like, my horse can move nowhere without dying. And he's even got two on here. Hmm. So I guess I just move this up. But where am I going next? Um... Because, like, now it makes sense. Like, he can't leave his bishop here. Because, because I, obviously, my next move will be here to check. And then take. Thank you. Oh. So, he's checking going for that, is he? Um... So my best move is just to move away, but where? Here, here in line with this, I've spit the pawns in the way. Going here gives him another check if he wants it. Um, what is he going to do with this, though? He can't take the castle. This, of course, blocks my check, which is... And, and defends the pawn. It's a good move, but... I should move the horse back here. Yeah. Because the horse was fucked where it was anyway. Well, not anymore because he moved that out. But yeah, because then I actually, the horse could have moved here than here and to check. His, his move changed things over there. Should have realized that before I moved. So I can't take this. Because he can take and I can't take. Um... So I should move up and just block and freeze my bishop. Because this car, this file being blocked is fine for me. 
bring my bishop out here. Um, for even a trade or targeting this square. And then hopefully moving my, because then I could move my queen over here to threaten both here and here to checkmate, maybe. I mean, that's, that's like that's like three moves. I mean, what is, is he just going to bring his rook in? Would I just trade if he brings his rook in? I mean, I, hmm. Actually, no. You know what I should have done? Now that he'd moved his pawn up, I should have moved my castle over. To attack his queen. Oh. The fuck type of move is that? Is he so he can move up his castle to defend this pawn? Yeah, I don't know what that achieved. Because this now blocks my um, king, so I can I can take this, I can go here. I mean, because I can't, but this, I'm not going to attack this because he's going to move. But where is he moving though? He can't go here, here, here. Okay. Um, this means this pawn is now free. I can also take this pawn, but it's defended by that as well. So I should just go here. Um... I check him first. I still can't take the bishop because the bishops are defended by this. Do I check him first? Is checking important? Or do I just attack his queen again and attack this square? It's defended by the horse. Yeah, okay. So, that ha attacks this pawn, so I can go here and then here and checkmate. But you probably won't let me do that because of the queen. The queen could still be there to defend. Is he just going to move one more over? He, he, he doesn't want to get off this file because then the bishop will be dead. Because I can just check and take bishop if he moves off this file. Okay. I can block it with my horse. Um, if he if he takes with the pawn, his queen dies. So do I just move a pawn up, or do I, or I try and bait him with the horse? Hmm. Why was that a? I don't know why he would do that. So he has to move his queen down here. Yeah, it's fine by me. Um, for me, it's not fine. Um, I'm just gonna just save the rook for the time being. Putting it here. I 
There's nothing defending. So if he, no, because then I can take, yeah, so here. Because the horse defends it here. He'll just take this pawn, which is fine. But then he defends that pawn, but that's okay because I can take his bishop. Why hasn't he just moved this bishop? Okay. Um. It's imperative. Do I just threaten checkmate and not worry about the bishop? It's a free bishop. This is fine. Because this also goes onto here anyway. And the only move he'd have is here. And I move, it checks, and then I can move the queen over. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Dang it! I did not see that. <laughs> Shit. Um, because I knew the horse protected it, but ah, oh, goddammit. Um... So he's just gonna check now. Fuck. Should've just gone with my original plan. Um, so I can take, but he's just gonna check down here. And I block with the bishop. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna lose now, who cares? Oh, I'm check, that's fine, I can't actually do that. Ah, uh, fuck. No, <laughs> why did I blunder so poorly? Ah, no! Ah, ah. I tried so hard and got so far. I, f I had so much there and I threw it all away so perfectly. I don't want to play this game anymore. He's going to move the... Oh, he's not. <sighs> Is he gonna take this because it's got about the castle? Yeah, okay, cool. I don't wanna play anymore. So painful. I don't have shit. I was doing so well there, and then I just threw it. I hate playing this game. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Wait, what? That's where I lost it all? Just moving the horse? But yeah, because like, as I said, horse to there, horse to there to check. Oh, God. I'm, what? Yeah, I was, I was so far ahead, and I just threw it all! I just threw it away. Look how I just back him. Ah, oh, no, God. What do you mean I wasn't doing? I was dominating him, summon fierce. I had a free bishop I could have taken like 800 times. One more. Hello, master. So sad. Feels bad. I'm mad. One more. This is a win. I doubt it, man. My head hurts. I'm just bad at existence. <sighs> Thank you, McSqueezy, for the five dollars an hour ago. I'm sorry I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh. I saw the new coffees in the video about um, Ice Poseidon. Scummy dude. Scummy dude. Maybe I should just march that up again. Actually. Uh, I don't know why I let him take that. I'm weird. I'm just a quirky guy. Doing quirky things. Wow. I just scammed these viewers out of like half a million dollars. Where am I going with this? Mm, suffering! I just want to free my bishop more. I don't know. Leave me alone. I can't even castle from this side anymore. Like, why does that even matter? That was me drawing the rooks hypothetically, but... Eh.
If he takes, I take. I mean, he just trades there, and then my queen's threatened, and I need to move my queen, and I would move my queen uh, somewhere else. So, wait. If I take this, he moves his horse. No, but I... Anywhere he moves it's fine. It doesn't matter. Because I can take it there, I can take it there, I can... I just, just, he can, he gets a free move and he threatens my queen. No, because then I just take his bishop. Yeah, go, he can go fuck himself. Yeah. So, if he moves his horse, I get his bishop. I attack this, but he might just move up the pawn here. A good castle, that is also a thing. Um... I can check him in there, but for what purpose? He moves one over. I mean, I get to develop the piece, I suppose. Mm, Why? Well, yeah, you would, uh... Yeah, okay. I guess he could just move up this pawn. And trade. No. Why would he do that? Okay, he move up that pawn. That changes things. No, because the queen is now defending this, so it makes no huge difference. This pawn is now only defended by the queen. Um, so I castle to join the rooks? Rooks are joined. Like, I'm, I'm way more developed now, right? So I'm... Because his castle still fucks there. He's encased in. These pawns are kind of weak. Because he can't move the bishop. If he moves the bishop, I take the pawn and attack him. Would he just move this forward now? I can hit here and he can get the pawn. He might trade yeah, so I guess I'll hit this pawn if he doesn't move it forward, and, and I'll trade queens. Because then this isn't defended, except by the bishop, and then my castle will be here, and so I'll take check. And then, when you take with the bishop, then I'll take then I'll take his bishop. It changes nothing, right? Unless I want to make this move first. No. Because I can no longer check him. But I can take this pawn. Still. This bishop is no longer defended, but there's nothing attacking it. If he doesn't take it, then I will just take his queen. Yeah. So I end up up a pawn, but then I can also take this pawn. No, I'm not upper pawn. I went, I, was I just equalizing from before? Oh. Well, we got, so is he going to just move this one? He's did. <sighs> right, but this is fine for me. Because... Because this, my castle's still here.
Do I want to go left or right? Yes, yeah, it's fine. Oh, will he just take this with a castle? Okay, maybe that was a bad move. Yeah, that was a bad move. Yeah, okay. So then we attack the castle. Because I can't take this anymore. And so he has to leave this file. Like his piece is still so closed up. So he has to leave this file and I can take this. I can check him. What am I doing? I could have just checked him. What would that have got me though? No, because that wouldn't have done nothing. No, because he would just move back. No, yeah. And then I would just trade. Yeah, I but I should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. This was the better move. So what is he going to move down here? So that he attacks both. What would I what would I do if he moves down here? If he moves down here, then I would just I could take this here, but then no. So I, I just take No. Okay, he didn't move there, so it didn't matter. <sighs> Why would he move there, though? Because now I'm free to take this. Or would I want to take this now and threaten both? Forcing the trade, defending the horse. No, I think I just take this for free. What does he do after that, though? Because his bishop is trapped... And he's on the same file because his bishop is trapped. Because if it he moves, I can take. Oh uh, well, no, I can't take. No. Hmm. Oh, it's basically trapped. I, mean, I guess he can move the bishop back here to attack this. Me, it's time to move here to check. Then he just moves up. Isn't that just a free pawn? Why would he not want me here? I I have mate in two, right? But then, but then he would, no, because he would just move back. Yeah, um, no. There has to be a reason for this move. I don't understand why he's giving me a pawn. Because I can move my horse up here, but he, he takes this way? I take and then take and then yeah, but this doesn't help. Um No, that's dumb. I should have just taken this free pawn. I don't understand why he offered me the pawn, though. I mean, because that's defended down there, and, like, so he's going to take this. I'm going to take... Make like, trading is good because I'm up. Like, which... I want this one, right?
It must make a difference, but I don't understand which one could be better. <laughs> Chat's probably freaking out. Um, so moving this up here threatens this if he ever moves his castle. This is still defended by the horse. I can no longer check him because the bishop is no longer blocking. If he moves his bishop, I can check here, though. Sacrificing the castle for the bishop makes no sense. I can now move this here. And the, the trade is in my favor. So he's just going to try and take the pawn here. Which I can't defend with, it doesn't super matter. So I guess I want to attack. I just want to. I want to move. If I move the horse here and then here, I attack both the bishop and the pawn. Is that all I need? No. If he moves down here, then he can actually check me. Then he can move up and check. I mean, that's still defended. Um, I can't move this down because it defends that. Um, I guess I just want to move both of these up. And attack this. I feel like this is dumb, but like, with both of these up, I can hit either of those and cause a trade. When, if he takes this, he go down to check, I move up here, he can't take, and then he's stuck. I'm not risking a back rank check, mate. So now here I can take both the bishop at all this pawn. Bishop's free. And he's still stuck here. I mean, he can move the castle up to threaten this, but... And then I take this, but then who cares? Because then I can check. How do you mate with two rooks on one row? Is that even possible? So if I... If I, if I I check here. Oh no, so I check here. He moves across. I check here. He moves across. These are repeated moves. Um, then I have to move here. No, so I guess I move this here, then this here, and then this there, then this there. Uh, no, then that one there. Yeah. So this, this should be possible. Yeah. Okay. But there'll be one turn where he isn't in check. Yeah. Thank you, Komodo, for the sub. Why, are the, why don't I have alerts on? I'm dumb. Should thank everyone. I've, I've done nothing in the two and a half hours I'm here. Why? Why must I not do things?
Does he just want to bring his castle here to attack here? This castle here hits this twice, which doesn't really matter because the horse will still be fine in the trade. Okay, he brings that back. Okay. Um, so if I move here to attack his castle, he takes, I check. I get nothing. Um... I can now take this pawn easily, and nothing really changes. He will move his bishop, um, and he will get checkmated. Like, he can't move his bishop, or he will get checkmated. Um, yeah, so I move, if I move the, move the horse here, he takes, I move here, and it's mate. Right? Or he just loses the rook. Because if he loses the rook, then he takes the next mate when I move back. Oh, no, actually, because he could move there still. But he'd be down a horse for a rook, so I mean, I'm... He, so he'd move there, and then... Uh, then I just check there. Then, yeah, then we do the shuffle -y thing. Okay. Yeah! I won a game! I won a game! Yeah! I may have lost two beforehand, but woo! A game! Yeah! Look at that accuracy, 86%. This is the Sicilian defense. It's an inaccuracy? Yeah, because I thought about it, I could have let him... Oh, shit. Look at that beautiful move. Damn. Destroyed. Destroyed. Wait, did I start a new game? Can I not start? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get to the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.